is in the area. Forrester is second to the left, or 11 is Sean O'Connor. And it's O'Connor. And it's there! What a goal! Brilliantly executed by Sean O'Connor. And the St. Patrick's and then again erupts. And Jared Doherty says, what went wrong with my wall? What he's saying is, why didn't the wall jump off the ground, put his hands in the air, because the wall didn't move. He's, he's, he's very, very annoyed. He feels let down. It was a great free kick, but I've watched the wall. It does not move off the ground. The tall makes it relatively easy for a quality player like Sean O'Connor to beat the keeper. No chance to get Jared Doherty there. He depended more on his wall, and I feel they let him down. Perfectly placed, he got it up over the wall and into the park of the goal that the keeper couldn't reach. Yes. Brilliantly executed by Sean O'Connor, scoring his second goal. Going to stop James Chambers. It's a free kick to Derry City. A foul there on the right back, Simon Madden. Silly by Ian Birmingham when he, he don't get pulled into a free kick there, it's a bit lazy. Particularly just after scoring a goal, you want to keep the ball out as far away from your own goal as possible. Well, it's the Derry Fellaini, Barry McNamee, to take the free kick. Grecian, 1-1. One, one. Hoist by their own petard. Yes. Yes, indeed. Big centre half did what he had to do and puts Derry right back in it. A needlessly conceded free kick and the perfect execution of the header for the big Scott. He's very difficult to spot. He's a big man. He gets a great header of this. Brown in front of him is not picking him up properly. It's a good ball in, but really it comes down to a silly free kick given away by Ian Birmingham at a very important part of the game. Two goals in two minutes. Derry City right back in it. Just for a moment, there's hardly been a break in play. It's much more open and much more spread. Yeah, it is, yeah. I thought it would happen in the second half. Um, it's very, a lot of nerves in the first 45 minutes. But I mean, both teams have settled down a little bit. Penalty! Uh, penalty! Liam Buckley's goalkeeper has given a penalty away. And uh, Declan Devine can't believe it. They can't believe it either. But the goalkeeper clattered into the Derry City player, and it's a penalty now. All back pass, sloppy clearance, and in trying to get it back, McLaughlin fouled by Brendan Clark, and now just on the pitch, a matter of minutes, Rory Patterson will take the penalty and bury it, and Derry go in front. Amazing stuff. With all the quality on the park, to very basic mistakes that gives Derry City the lead and a wonderful opportunity to get a hand on the cup. Brendan Clark will not be happy with himself, just a moment's panic. But this is a cool penalty. Good concentration. Keeper had no chance of that, even had he gone the right way. To see it here again, rolls into the back of the net. Good penalty. Well, He's a calm young man, McLaughlin. I think he has a good. Kenna the captain, Fagan, Kenna, Ger O'Brien, back into the danger zone, and that had to be a good save, and they're there, and they've equalised, it's Fagan, it's 2-2, in the 87th minute, Christy Fagan, St. Patrick's Athletic scorer in chief, bags another, and it's his first of the cup this season. We spoke all afternoon about the importance of movement in the penalty area. This young man is first class at it. We gave an example a few moments ago, getting around Stuart Grace. Watch his movement here. Keeper does well, but the ball moves away from Doherty as he knocks it down. You see this ball into the box, plenty of patch players in there. It's a header on it. Keeper makes a good save. This is sensible ball across by O'Connor. And there's Fagan on the move. Not yet in the cup this season, but he's kept Pats in the final with his 16th goal of 2012. Christy Fagan, Pats top scorer.
and he's broken Derry hearts. Yes, we agonising pats have been over the last few minutes. Extra time. Oh, what a chance should be presenting itself here, and a chance for Patterson! And Derry take the lead again. Rory Patterson, successful from the penalty spot, does it from open play, and Derry go back into the lead. Declan Devine said, this was a man we've got to watch in the future, and we can see why he is. Look at his goal-scoring instinct here, to just go for a full-on touch, get a good first touch, put it into the empty net, but it's his movement, his belief that a, a mistake will be made. Gets behind Conor Kenner, who won't be too happy with that. But Patterson, absolutely superb goal-scoring instinct, takes this game to a different level again, George. They scored from the spot to make it. Look at the watch from Neil Doyle, but clearly he said hasn't played enough. And there is the final clears, and there is the final whistle, and the wait goes on because Derry are cut, because Derry City, Derry City, the first time since 2006, have won the FAI Ford Cup, and it's been the most dramatic of victories. Yes, you will not have witnessed scenes like this many times in the past, George. This was everything.